Yeah, hungry, Bubs Bubs. Hey guys, it's Jasmine, and I'm finally making a video on how to make raw cat food if you don't have a blender or meat grinder. If you've had a hard time finding a store that'll grind up the meat for you and you haven't gotten a chance to get a good blender or meat grinder yet, and you are devoted to giving your cat a really healthy raw food diet, then I really hope that this video helps you out. Before we get started, please make sure to click that subscribe button below if you haven't already because I do put out weekly cat videos every catter day. And if you haven't seen my original how to make raw cat food video, I'm going to put that link in the eye icon above. If you click that, it'll take you to it to go watch and I really suggest you do because that one is a more thorough breakdown of the same recipe that's in this video. I'll also leave a link to my cat stuff playlist up in that icon and in the description below. And in that playlist, you'll find a bunch Bunch of videos that likely answer any questions you might still have after watching this one. Now the only real difference between this video and my original how to make raw cat food video is that in this one I'm using turkey thighs just to switch things up and in this one we're cutting everything up by hand. That said, do make sure you subscribe because I will be coming out with new videos in the next few months regarding different meats you can use and all other things having to do with raw cat food. All right, let's get started. Here we are. So I'm gonna show you what you need first and then we're gonna get started with cutting the turkey thighs. You are going to need a pretty big size cutting board, even bigger than this one if you can get one. You are going to need a giant bowl like this Tupperware one. You are going to need some good sharp kitchen shears and we're gonna use this to cut the meat and debone the thighs. You're gonna need a sharp knife, a whisk, a big spoon or spatula to stir everything up with once we put it in the bowl, a small bowl which you will put your four egg yolks in, which I've already done here, and this is what you're going to mix all the supplements to. Again, I highly suggest going to watch my original how to make raw cat food video because that is basically the same exact recipe, but just a recap on the ingredients you'll need. Here is my cup of water that I already have measured out. We have our light salt. Again, it's super important that it is light salt, not regular salt. Vitamin B complex capsules, high quality salmon oil, vitamin E powder, taurine powder. This is super important and don't worry because I'm going to actually have videos coming up explaining the importance of each ingredient. L-lysine, which is optional and I explain this in another video as well. Chicken livers, which I had frozen and thawed in the fridge overnight. Chicken hearts, also super important and all of our turkey thighs. And we have a visitor who cannot wait to eat the food. Down. So in my case, I've been lucky that my grocery store, um, I found one or two that will grind up the chicken meat and skins for me. So usually I get that done at the store. But one of the reasons I'm making this video is because a lot of people have had trouble finding a store that'll grind up chicken for them because it can be an issue with contamination. So some stores just won't do it. But I will say I am going to use my Vitamix to grind up the bones because the recipe does call for bones. But don't worry because if you don't have a blender or a grinder, which is why I'm guessing you are watching this video, then you can always get a bone replacer, which I have another video for as well that I will put either up in that corner or please make sure to check out my cat stuff playlist. All right, let's get started with the dirty work. I put my gloves on because we're wearing gloves today, apparently. So I went ahead and I put the measurements of the supplements in here. And again, I'm gonna put a link to the written recipe in the description below so you guys can go check that out. Okay, so a good idea might be to put your cats away um, before you get started. What I usually do is I mix all of the supplements in here except for the fish oil. What I do is put about half the amount of water in here just to help mix it up and then I will put this to the side for right now. Quick tip to have a bag or a giant bowl as a garbage bowl or bag, 
to put stuff in and keep the surface as clear as you can because as you can see, there's a lot of stuff on here right now, mainly because I'm showing you guys how to do it, but it's good to have a system. So here I have about five and a half pounds of turkey thighs, and remember that includes everything. That includes a bone, that includes the skins. So the first thing we're gonna do is cut off the skins, and for that, we need our scissors. The easiest way to do this is to not be too perfectionist about it. Definitely be careful. You don't want to cut yourself. You just wanna get off as much as you can, and we are actually going to put it to the side. Sometimes what you can even do to start is just kind of peel it off as much as you can and then cut off where you have to cut off where it's just too difficult to peel. Okay, so as you can see, the skin is off and there's still little bits left on there, but that's totally okay. Now when it comes to putting the skin in the food, I talk about this in other videos as well, but that totally depends on your cat's preference, on your preference. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six thighs. I'll probably keep the skin from three of them and the rest I will just toss. So now we're just gonna put the skin to the side and we're gonna get started boning these thighs. There's just one bone. You could see it right here. You carefully use your knife or your scissors to just cut the meat away from the bone. And you guys, the thing is, they might not grind your meat for you, but if you ask them to take the meat and skins off the bone for you, they'll totally do that. I just wanted to kind of show you everything from scratch here, but even if they won't grind the meat for you, if they can at least do this step, that saves you a lot of time. So what I'm gonna do is cut all of the bones out of these and put four of the bones into the blender because I use about 75% bone in my recipe. And remember, if you don't have a blender or a grinder to grind up the bones yourself, you can use the substitutes that I talk about in my other video. All right, so we've deboned all of the turkeys. I put them to the side over here that you can't really see as we've been doing it just to give myself more space. And now we're gonna bring piece by piece kind of back here and we're going to chop it into smaller pieces. So you can use your scissors for this as well. What I am going to do is just give it a rough chop and then take my scissors to it to kind of help get even smaller pieces. I will say this, I have the store grind up all except for two chicken thighs, and then what I do with the two is kind of chop them up like this so he still gets chunks in his food. I know I don't show that in my original how to make raw cat food recipe video, but I've played around and figure out what his preferences are more or less since then. Do them about this size, more or less. Again, not being super neurotic about it, just small pieces because, oops, once we um, do the organs, you'll see that those get mushier. So those kind of cover the mush factor and these could be the chunks in the food. All right, guys, I finished chopping up all of the turkey thighs. You could see the chunks here. I also took my gloves off. I just, I just don't like gloves. I don't like gloves cooking, washing dishes at the gym. I don't know. Anyway, we are going to tackle the organs next. So the first thing I'm gonna do is drain the juice into the bowl because that will make the cutting board less slippery and less messy. And it also adds more fluid to the food. So once you do that, we are going to take our chicken hearts, dump them all on the board like this, and you basically just Chop them all up like this. And then I'm gonna give these a rough chop with a knife and then put them in with the meat. Next, we tackle the livers. So again, I'm going to squeeze some of the juice in here. Livers are slippery suckers, so careful. Now, 
we chop up the livers. Again, if you don't have a blender or food processor, you would just toss it straight in here, but I'm gonna put half in here and half in my blender just to help me grind up the bones. So this is what the turkey thighs and the hearts and the livers look like that I put in here. This is what I ground up. This is the bones some of the hearts and some of the livers. And this took me about a minute to grind up in my Vitamix. If you don't have a Vitamix, if you don't have a high speed blender, then you would have just put all of the organs in here after you chop them up. And you would have to use some kind of bone substitute in the recipe because it is necessary. And there are three substitutions that I talk about in a different video, which is in my cat stuff playlist. So next what I'm gonna do is put all of this in here and then what I do if you remember I only put some of the water in the bowl that I was using so I fill this up with the rest of the water there might be a half cup left put this back on to speed and it'll help get those little bits that are left all over the walls here next we put in the supplements that we mixed earlier and finally, we pierce these fish oils, and I like to put them in last, like I said, because this bowl is designated for me making his food, and sometimes I feel like it's hard to get the fish smell out of, <laughs> out of other bowls. So, And like I said in my other video, careful when you're squeezing this stuff out because you do not want to smell like you've worked on a fish farm all day. There we go. Now we just mix it all up until it is well incorporated. And because I know I'm going to get a lot of questions about portion sizes or how much to give your cat or how long this batch actually lasts, just remember to check out my cat stuff playlist because I go over all of these questions and a whole lot more in either my Q&A videos or other videos having to do with raw cat food. So today we will be going the freezer bag route and I make sure to put the date on all the bags and an easy way to do it is to get a giant glass and then put the bag in the glass like this and then we just fill it with usually about two days worth of food. So there you have it. These bags are all full. They're all gonna go in the freezer except for one, which I will put in the fridge for his meals for the next couple of days. And now we just go and clean up. All right, guys, that is how you make homemade raw cat food if your store won't grind up the meat for you and if you are yet to buy a meat grinder or a really good high power blender, which I do recommend if you plan on feeding your cat this way long term. I do hope you enjoyed this video and that it helped you out. Remember, if you have any questions, to check my cat stuff playlist first. And then if you can't find the answer, just leave a comment below and I'll see if I can make a video about that in the future. Ooh, and a quick little announcement. My book, The Holistic Fitness Starter Guide, is now available in Spanish. Espero que consigues este libro porque es muy especial y con suerte útil para tu salud. Please make sure to click that thumbs up below if you liked this video because that does help me know the content that you guys like to see. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!